Hennessy. A pair of healthy twins by the looks of it. Well done, Missy. Yeah. Done, Missy. Now we've lambed right where next to where I can make a pen. So I'm going to build a pen so I don't have to take you out in this pouring rain. Pouring rain. Good girl. Good mama. Very healthy looking babies. Yeah. Okay, mama. Come here. Come on. I'm gonna put you in here. One. Two. Come on, babies. There you go. There. All penned up. So she has her own space. And we haven't disturbed. We haven't really disturbed anybody else. Okay. I'm going to get you some water. And hey, she's pissed off because I'm right here. Yeah, I'm going to get you something to eat. You're hungry. All that effort of giving birth. <laughs> Everybody wants food. I've just given her food. She has fresh water. Everybody's woken up from their lying down positions, except for that yo. Thinking they're going to get some food. I'm going to go and get some iodine now and then some hay. So she's got food and water for reward. Hey, Zidi, and you pretty baby. <laughs> Your mama's the other way, sweetie. Come here, turn around. Mama's that way. There, mama's that way. Very cross yo. Yeah. Trying to eat the wood to get at the food. But that's her just reward. For having given birth to two fine, healthy lambs all on her own. Two healthy new lambs. I've just given them iodine. Good girl. Good mama. She's not happy having me in here. So I'm gonna leave her be. She's had food. She's got hay there, water here. And they're up looking for milk. Sweet baby girls. A nice pair. Look, see, right there. Okay, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you to do your own thing.
yet. She really looks like she's gonna lamb. She's nesting, pawing a place in the ground where she wants to lamb. So I was gonna move the yo and lamb that were born at around um, 5.30 this morning. Java, come on, get out of there. You're gonna get throttled by the yo. Java, come on, Java, come on. Good boy, come on. I'm gonna go and uh, feed the yo's lambs. The horses are in, as you can see, they've had their breakfast too. And I'll come back and the yo's will hopefully be out in that field. But I've got my bucket of food for the yo's in the top of the garden. And you're gonna come and assist, aren't you? <laughs> They're loving this. Up, oh, another lame yo. And another lame yo. Well, they don't have far to travel. It's very mucky underfoot. Sheltered from the wind and away from any big trees that might blow over if they decide to lamb. And they have that shed there if they want. And once she's lambed, I'll open the shed and uh, they can come in and out if they want. Of course, a little bit is licking up the last scraps of food. I better go feed the, um, feed the yos up in the top of the garden now. Okay, we're missing a lamb. Luckily, this paddock is really small, but there's loads of nooks and crannies for a lamb to hide in. I might should go and look at, um, I fed the yos. So there's two sets of twins, one over to the left, one right there. This is the ear feather and her single lamb. They're all there, that's three. But over here in the shed, one of the sets of twins only had one lamb. Yeah, where is your other lamb? Where is your other lamb? That's one lamb. Where is your second lamb? Where's your other lamb? You only have one. I'm gonna have to really scour now to find your other lamb. Where is it? No, don't bring them into nettles. Come on. Where's your other lamb gone? Where's your other lamb? Hmm? Okay, I'm gonna have to really hunt. It's not in between. Sometimes they get in the most awkward places. Okay, yeah, where is it? Where's your other lamb? You know the weather's bad when the herd of cattle are all bunched up against the hedgerow like that. Sheltered. Good thing a hedgerow is for is shelter, besides biodiversity. And they're loving that location. Big, tall hedgerow. So they're well protected from wind and rain. Okay, she's had one lamb, or she had two. I can't tell. Oh, you've had two lambs. Well done, you. Oh, is one of them okay? Let me see. Oh, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, oh come on. <sighs> okay, that lamb still had some of its sack on it. Its face. Okay. There we go. Well done, you. 
Turning that one off now. It's alive. How are you? You're a stonker. How are you, big boy or girl? I don't know if you're a boy or a girl. Let's see. Are you a boy or a girl? Hmm? You are. You're a little boy. Okay. And yours are doing fine, aren't you? You've got your two babies. Lovely full bellies on them by the looks of it. So we just missed the birth because I was looking for a lamb I thought was missing. And it wasn't missing. Ooh, you got your big. Are you a boy or a girl? Another boy. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave her be. I'm going to wait moving you until she's done some cleaning up. The rest of the flock is doing very well out here, enjoying this. It's a very protected location from the storm. You can see all the trees are dancing. Well, there's not much of a gust there, but those are massive beech trees and they're doing a bit of dancing, but they're very protected here. The yos. Horses have all stood up now. Nope. Nothing happening here. Everybody lying around being quiet. So relaxed and cozy in this storm. Uh, this morning's lambs I've brought up to the paddock because I think they're hardy enough and it's very mild and down here with the walls you don't feel much of the wind She's a good mama. Under the cherry tree, protected by the walls. Here's a cozy group. Her 
grandma's nursing home. You found the perfect hollow. Yeah. Totally out of the wind right here. Not a whisper on the grass. Not a whisper. And then you look at it up here in the branches. Oh, there's a smudge. There we go. Look, the wind is up there. hardly a whisper in the grass. Cozy, perfect, clever yo. Remnants of my tulips. Yes, remnants of my beautiful tulips. <laughs> so, checking on the flock, and it looks like we have somebody who's lambing in this lovely sheltered field during the storm. Yeah, you got two beautiful girl but lambs by the look at. I don't know if they're girls. Checking out. Clever girl. Two beautiful lambs. Well done. You clever thing. <laughs> you clever girl. How are you? Yeah, we've got one yo and a ram lamb. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Well done. Clever girl. Beautiful lambs. birth off you. There's still quite a bit of a wind going. You're a very demanding little fella.
Just for the time being. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Yeah. Come on. There we go. There we go. You're in shelter now. Out of the direct rain and wind. And I better check that everybody else, nobody else is lambing. It seems some of them are choosing to lamb as soon as my back is turned. Crossing their legs in a convenient way. Nope. Nothing else happening here. Get some iodine for those navels or umbilical cords to dry them up. <laughs> <laughs> 